We're the victim of one bombing raid so far. Another <laughs> bombing raid on the way. It jarred this ration loose from the rafters, I'm guessing. Luckily, I don't need it. I hope Otacon got to the control room all right. <laughs> Wait, so is the door that's open right now the only door that Otacon had to open? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. It, it didn't do us much good because it just leads to a room that's all barricaded um, with an iron bar. I'm trying to hit Meryl, but it won't work. I'll drive. <laughs> Saw your arms. Damn it. If I successfully hit her, I would have been allowed to drive. Damn, no keys. So, <laughs> these guards, did they show up because of the surveillance camera? Oh yeah, they're still on the clock. It doesn't matter that there's nowhere for them to have come from. I got it, Jump in. Just gotta tap it, that'll start the... Is it Autocon in the <laughs> control room? Like, wouldn't he be the one watching the security cameras? <laughs> oh my god. Autocon's heel turn. It, when it boils down to it, Autocon is a company man. He's just doing a job. You didn't see any of them because they had stealth camouflage. <laughs> he had stealth camouflage on, and it makes him blind. So this is the escape route. It's the only way out of that Metal Gear hangar without lowering the platform back. It seems like a smoother transition than that wonky elevator. <laughs> and lava room. Right? So I think this might be the direction all that cool stuff was being brought in from. Not the other way around. Not the lava room. <laughs> I forgot that it's not a one way one way into the base thing. Which is smart. So this is the, the way they got Metal Gear Rex into the hangar? Unless he was constructed there. Like a ship in a bottle. And you're already uh, on the 31st basement floor, <laughs> I guess. I guess this is the way they pre planned on getting Rex out of the base when he needed to be used. This doesn't seem like Rex can get out through here. Uh... Yeah. What? <laughs> He's still here! I thought surely the man that blew up from a helicopter... Uh, you didn't have a parachute this time! You were shirtless! <laughs> yeah. That's why he was shirtless. He had constructed a parachute out of his shirt. And so that Snake couldn't do the same, they had to take off Snake's shirt. <laughs> It was a foolproof plan! And you messed it up by being the superior brother! This would be a lot easier if Snake was able to aim his gun up and down at all, instead of just side to side. At the tires? Because he, he ducks and he is invulnerable. Don't you have your upper guns like a rocket launcher? No, he took those all away uh, when he took my shirt off. I kept them all in my shirt pocket. Oh yeah, that's right. But you got your shirt back. Doesn't that mean you're re-equipped? Uh... <laughs> you have your smokes? Uh, I have nothing. I have, like, a ration. You took your <laughs> smokes, too? That bastard! <laughs> all the other stuff I could forgive, but this time I'm gonna kill you for real! He'd probably be better with a gun on the back of his truck. Uh, I'm kind of busy looking somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta hand it to Liquid. His, like, insatiable lust to fuck Snake over lasted to the very end. <laughs> I'm going to crash my Jeep, let you T-bone me. Therefore, if you look at the accident, uh, who's gonna be paying out for the insurance? Damn, he thought of everything. Meryl, are you okay? Yeah, just a little shook up. Meryl, can you move? The Jeep off of us? It's no good. Isn't Meryl already almost halfway dead? <laughs> yeah. I can't see him either. Snake, aren't you there too? Like. <laughs> Oh, he's in codec mode, he forgot. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> Liquid, can you move? He steps on a clay warm line. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Meryl wasn't kidding when she said the snake would die of cold out here without a shirt on. <laughs> Frost. Bye 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 bye. If he's dead, that means. Don't say it, Snake. That means... It is over. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Well, there's stealth bombers. <laughs> you don't understand the irony in that phrase, Snake. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? We've arrested Jim House. <laughs> has been arrested. Yes. Oh. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the president. He was actually decoy octopus. <laughs> all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone. What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The Secretary of Defense was flying those planes <laughs> until he got arrested. The spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this. Hey, wait. Doesn't that mean Otacon's okay? Yeah. Enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case. So what bombs are they sending to cover up the secret? Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. I was talking about her butt. Thank you. <laughs> Damn fine. Snake. I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake. I'm not a colonel. Huh. Oh, that's right. I've got a Secretary of Defense. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. The bastard's going to jail. Roy, are you going to be okay? <laughs> for flagrant anime use. I have an insurance <laughs> policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Cox's gun. Roy. Wait. Just tell me one thing. I thought Snake doesn't understand anything about how the nano machines work. <laughs> how does he know the battery life on them? <laughs> Roy's just going with it. That's not how it works at all. It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. This is close enough to face to face. I heard about my brother. How, how much did you hear about your brother? But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. I'm Big Boss. <laughs> tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. And he still couldn't kill Liquid. <laughs> Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, well, he's... He never like really was your brother. You Snake's brother. He's more Snake's brother, yeah. They bonded. They were both raised by a big boss. And they punched each other. <laughs> Naomi, 
Liquid died from Fox died. Naomi could have punched Gray Fox, you don't know. When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? You die in your own time, Snake. When their time is up. Yeah. That's not what I meant. How long is this franchise gonna last? Doctor, damn it! <laughs> Live, Snake. How long do I have? Is there a real doctor on this codec I can talk to? Oh, and then the snow melted out from under their jeep, so they were able to escape. Written into their own genetic code. It's unchanged. I'm not coming back for the sequel. But that's not oh, and then the snow melted out from under their jeep, so they were able to escape. I realize that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I, I wanted to at least I take the gun. Where I came you gotta decapitate that pony. I'm sorry. <laughs> If I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I How did they get out from under the jeep that was crushing their legs? <laughs> Why can they walk? But I was wrong. I didn't yeah, Ancestry.com. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> you didn't actually have to become a doctor for that. You just use Ancestry.com. You could just ask your brother. All the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. I'll say. Potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Wait. Humans can choose the type of. Is Naomi Hunter a role that she like the, the identity of Naomi Hunter's? Post or pre Naomi Hunter becoming a doctor? Like, is she an actual doctor or is he? Just... She stole Naomi Hunter's credentials. Don't you think, Snake? So she's not. She might not be an actual. No, she's a scientist. She never really was a doctor. She never pretended to be a doctor. That's just a nickname. Ah. So uh, about that fox dying antidote they were talking about? <laughs> there must be. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Hmm? Loving each other, teaching Wait, how did Naomi see this from satellite? <laughs> That's how we can change the world. Uh, Mei Ling saw it and then it... It realized it got spotted, so it, it went into the hole to write out the alert. <laughs> Wait a minute. This wasn't the snowmobile that Mei Ling saw at all. <laughs> There's another snowmobile there. Liquid, no! Is that true? Look, I found this. You know, Snake can go back for uh, Otacon himself, dude. <laughs> There's a room. Because there's no imminent danger right now, right? Nobody told Otacon. Either. Yeah. Otacon's just sitting there waiting for the nuke to drop. <laughs> Doesn't Snake have Autocon on codec? Yeah, but... Yeah, you know, the machine's batteries. <laughs> That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? What's written in your genes now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Roy Roy Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the real way to live. Oh, look at her face. <laughs> Such so, emotion. Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to... <laughs> Don't shorten it. I think it's Dave and Merrill, huh? That sounds familiar. A new path? A new purpose. A new hamburger. We'll find it? We'll find it. Somewhere beyond Alaska. We'll find it. And then the snowmobile takes off into space. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. 
I'm just thinking if you run over those, how many rations they drop. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on, let's enjoy life. I didn't expect Snake to be named Dave. I didn't expect <laughs> Snake to have a name. <laughs> yeah. Are they riding into the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> yep. They're on it. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, and that number is down to about 14,000 active nuclear warheads in the world today. Ah. So we're making progress. We'll get there. I won't believe that until I, I hear it directly from Nastasha. <laughs> you know, the quickest way is just to, like, fire one. And they'll take care of the rest. So that's Metal Gear Solid 1. The end of the same story happening to Solid Snake three times. Hey! Snake has actually played by Dave. It forms a nice triangle of references, having Snake really be named David, because his voice actor is David Hayter. Um, but also, Dave and Meryl are the characters from Police Knots. And then David and Hal are the characters from 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's Otacon's uh, voice actor, uh, Hal Emmerich. Uh, their voice actor didn't go by their real name for this game. But yes. So, um, stick around. You'll see, coming up soon, um, a bonus video showing off all of the post-game stuff. Um, there's actually quite a bit of um, interesting details you can get from a post-game, depending on how you did in your, uh, in your playthrough, and whether or not you've collected all of the endings. So there are two different endings depending on whether you submit to the torture or not. But if you collect both of them, um, you get even more stuff unlocked in New Game You Plus. gotta save liquid in your uh, uh, final. Yeah. <laughs> in the in the final one, you save um, DARPA Chief Donald Anderson. <laughs> so, what do your genes say now, Snake? <laughs> There's actually one ending for every member of Foxhound. So, brother, brother and Dave, we make quite a pair. Hmm, so your name is Dave, Ice. <laughs> and then, like, the 0.1% of players who actually named David all freak out, throw the controller away. <laughs> controller starts vibrating. <laughs> uh, so there are some thanks in order. I'd like to thank Blind Cat for joining me for this journey. Uh, through Metal Gear Solid 1. The final game in the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Wait, Metal Gear Solid 1? Oh, that... That's just a formality, Metal Gear Solid 1, to help you uh, delineate from Metal Gear 1, which is a different game. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody in both of the threads uh, who stuck with this LP for a very long time. Um... Because I posted this initially in, what, 2013? And I'm finishing it up now. Um, so this was... This was 10 years of work um, put into this LP. And I'm glad to see it finished. Uh, there were times when I didn't think I would. So I'm pretty sure I could do Metal Gear Solid 2 by uh, the time I die. What's important is that you choose life. <laughs> And I'd like to thank Instant Grat for his experimental LPs thread, uh, without which this LP might not even exist. So, Liquid surviving the fall never gets explained at all? Um, which one? Uh, the one that doesn't involve a parachute. <laughs> uh, he's just that good. He's the inferior clone, but he's just that good. So just think about how good Snake must be. Because his body wasn't even at the... What? 
Um, you could say he was thrown clear. You could say he he bounced off Snake's shirt, <laughs> which is why he took it, it off. It was just in, that padded. He took it off in the first place, which just that's it. why. He, yeah, you set it down right so he had a landing pad. <laughs> Oh, you were wondering what uh, Revolver Ocelot was up to this whole time? He had a big trampoline. <laughs> is it just me? Or did it sound like he was getting closer with that last <laughs> snake for a minute? <laughs> they always talk about Big Boss like he's still a present figure. Yeah. Like his presence is still around, which it is, but it doesn't feel like you're talking about someone who's in the ground. Yeah. Well, maybe he never made it to the ground. They wanted his DNA, so he's probably on ice somewhere. Which is weird, because they also have his DNA. Yeah, in them. They are his DNA, mm -hmm. as it turns out. Because, uh, I mean, it's not just like the genome soldiers who have uh, soldier genes, whatever select genes those are. Mm -hmm. But Snake and Snake are uh, <laughs> clones. Yeah, the Snakes. One's the recessive inferior clone. Mind that doesn't you. make any sense. No. One of them makes perfect sense, and the other is the superior genetic clone. So neither of them are technically identically um, genetically linked to Big Boss. Because one has all of his recessive genes and one has all of his dominant <laughs> That's genes. That's not how that works. So one is a little bit worse and one's a little bit better, but the same. And if you wait to the end of the credits... You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Oh, your that's right. Can choose the type of He's a musher. <laughs> the important thing is that you choose life and then live. Is this where Snake falls over because of Fox and I? <laughs> it cut to black so you'll never know. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. The killing was intentional. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. What should I do about the woman? What? <laughs> Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. <laughs> That's right. Not only is there a third snake, he's the President of the United States. Ugh. Gash, a snake. <laughs> um... Now that's a twist you don't see coming. What? Uh, so Snake has all the recessive genes? Liquid yep. has all the dominant genes, yep. and, uh, the president has... <laughs> He's got, what, 92 chromosomes? <laughs> He's got them both. Yep. He has both sets. He's just gonna... He has two complete sets, and he has, uh, uh, 46 chromosomes. A big scar going right down the middle of his body. <laughs> Where they sewed up the dominant right hand and the dominant left hand. Every other hair is blonde or brown. Uh, and that's the skills you need to get elected. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> and the gall to make that the cliffhanger epilogue twist ending and end the franchise there. Kojima, you beautiful bastard, you did it! Solid dust. 
What? Sol- solidus. It's a term that means it's the point in between liquid and solid. I had questions, but I can't remember any of them because uh, <laughs> Revolver Ocelot has thoroughly thrown me off guard. Yeah, I didn't. I thought you would not anticipate a different epilogue ending. I did not. Nice, which is why we did them in reverse order this time. It's because you get more details with the good ending. What the <laughs> <laughs> What the actual hell? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Snake, have you ever noticed that the present looks exactly like you? (laughs) But slightly blonde. The thing is, the president has to be at least 35 years old to be the president. Right. But he's also a clone of Big Boss. Right. And they were all born at the same time using the super baby method. Or he was cloned after, therefore making him younger than the 32-year-old Solid Snake. Because you can't be the U.S. president unless you're at least 35 years old. Um, So, he had to have been cloned earlier. But he couldn't have been. Huh? But he couldn't have been cloned earlier. No. Because he was already at the perfect balance, so they wouldn't have had to do this. So they wouldn't make any sense for them to make inferior versions yeah. afterwards. Right. If anything, he would have been cloned after the Super Baby Method and had some refinement, right? Yeah. But he has to be at least 35 years old in order to be the president. That's true. Huh? <laughs> what the... Time travel? <laughs> uh, hmm. Is this stolen identity stuff? Can you believe it or not, they answer that question. Really? Okay. Yes. He's actually Decoy Octopus. <laughs> I mean, Decoy Octopus, when you really think about it, has eight arms like a snake. And the Super Baby Method uses how many babies? <laughs> Super Baby Octopus with eight snake arms. He's all the snakes. Oh, wow. You've guessed the twist of the second game. Really? Nobody knew that there was an eighth baby. <laughs> Every time we kill off another another snake clone. Nobody knew. <laughs> <laughs> there was a 40 second. We never killed Big Boss in the first and second game. It was actually just a decoy octopus. Every US official for the past 30 years has been a clone of Big Boss and nobody noticed. <laughs> Why is someone from the Russian IRS working... For the... What the hell is even going on here? Yeah. How about that? Why is Big Boss's, like, personal guard working for the clone of Big Boss, who's also the president? I don't... I don't see why they would make this the last Metal Gear. (laughs) Why they would drop that twist? What the hell? Well, because if it's the end of the series, you can drop whatever twist you want. You never have to answer any follow-up questions. Wouldn't that make it really hard to make a sequel if you really wanted to? Um, that's actually a writing strategy for some for some people uh, in serialized fiction, is to like write themselves into a corner. Force them to be creative. Yeah, so they have to pull off something either amazing or really bad to get them out of it. And that's why they swapped the slot machines. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the last game. Yeah. What? (laughs) I have one more twist ending for you, Blind Cat. Hmm? It's called Metal Gear Solid 1. Because they anticipated a sequel. What? Metal Gear Solid VR missions. (laughs) 